Okay, so here we are after quite a few days, possibly weeks of prep, of sanding back, getting rid of any of the light fittings or um, bogging holes, stickers, prepping all sorts of areas that I didn't want here. Like there were all hooks in the side where they used to hang a washing line. Uh, if you see four hooks, that's what they were, a metal rack that um, is like a towel drying rack. Um, left these ones on for the annex, but removed the bottom one um, and light fittings will be replaced. So what I've done uh, yesterday, I spent almost a whole day masking up, uh, several hours anyway. What I'm doing is working around the heat and these sort of clouds coming. There's actually not much rain in that today, but um, we've been battling extreme heat waves or rain. So um, what I'm doing now is I've started priming the van. Um, priming the van is, um, you know, with this gray uh, metal etch primer, it's ready for the enamel and it goes into um, any of the aluminium, like most of it I'd sandblasted, then, then actually sanded and really scraped back all the roof area so that it had no loose uh, areas and um, got ready. Um, the masking tape, I use frog tape. It seals better, has a harder edge. You can leave it on up to 21 days. And if you're wondering how much to do a van, this one's 14 foot. I measured it all up to go all the way around. Used a little bit yesterday to test out your normal paper tape, masking tape. So that's my little experiment that against the frog tape. So um, what you need is 55 meter tape roll. We'll do the whole van and there was a little bit left. So you can really go nuts and do all your windows or a lot of extra things. Some things like these um, I haven't bothered about because I've got brand new ones to put on. So it doesn't matter if they get tape on. Um, and down here, not worried about because there's silver checker plate going here and the, um, the drawer bar is being replaced. So that's why they're not being touched. Otherwise, um, four liters of the etch primer. Um, we'll soon see, I'm about to do the sides, but I um, have a funny feeling that four liters isn't enough for one coat. Um, we can take you up the top and see, it looks pretty good up there and already, but um, four liters might not be enough. So I'm gonna see, and I have not gone thick with it. I have just rolled it and gone fairly neutral. This is all ready for our new window. I made the decision the window can go in after. It really does not matter with the aluminium. I've got to cut it bigger hole. Doesn't matter, I can touch up any little areas. So um, this lets me get the priming and the painting done of the black and white while we've got good weather. And that's what you want. It's a little windy today, which isn't ideal, but um, it's what we get. And I have made the decision to prime the window frames because they're quite sort of, you know, uh, etched back. And um, so I've decided to prime them up and paint them back silver with the silver enamel. So they look a lot better. Um, okay, so we'll get into it. And uh, so far this morning, uh, this has taken, um, I think this has taken close to three hours to do the roof and the front and the back around. And that's just the rolling of the paint. Um, so I just had a little break and we'll get back into it. Um, we'll see you on the next video. Okay, so here we are, almost finished our first coat of the primer. 
And yes, there'll only be one coat of the primer, but I was speaking of the further coats of the enamel. There'll be two coats of the white and two coats of the black. Um, now, we were talking before, and I got four litres of the primer and um, whether or not we'd have enough. And I was fairly lean um, in rolling, um, so... I wasn't heavy handed with it and it was with a roller and a brush you would use more if you were spraying because you do have a bit of wastage with spraying um, um, you'll find that people are either for or against spraying and um, um, I, as I've mentioned before because of this location spraying would have been bad for the garage I rent, they wouldn't have understood overspray on the garage, would have cost me money. I've got gar gardens down here with herbs that we do eat and these are ornamental olives. I've also got a neighbour here and he has little dogs and I'm sure he wouldn't have appreciated and neither would this little guy. Hey Merlin, hi, you gonna say hello? <laughs> All right, so what we've done, I've just scraped through with the four litres, but I've sent a runner for another litre because I'm actually going to now open all the windows and I'm going to um, prime the window frames inside and outside and I'm going to paint them with the silver enamel. I'm just going to get out of this wind because it will be affecting it. Obviously, I didn't paint the skirt because there's checker plate going over that. I masked off the doors and I've done them forward and back. We're going to have a black panel going along the bottom. So I've been toying with the idea, I think I'll do half the door black and half the door white and just keep it in keeping with the, the pattern along the side. So yeah, while I scrape through, I didn't get to do these windows and you can see like I just don't want to leave them like that, really scratchy. And I have scrubbed and scrubbed them. But once you put a bit of primer on them, let's go around this side because I actually, there we go. I rolled a bit of primer on them. They'll come up a lot better and they'll still look the same, but I'm going to go with the silver. And that way it'll just stand out a bit. And I'll probably do the, the spare tire thing in the silver. So we'll have um, the silver rails. So chrome, silver rails, the windows, the, um, the carrier, and um, I think I'll keep the door frames either black or white. So um, I'm just asking a friend at the moment, my engineer, that he was replacing the drawbar for me. See these up here, your cross braces? Okay, so the cross braces have a little bolt in the middle and bearing in mind that this is around 40 years old, let's have a look. See the bolt? So that bolt, although it looks really tight, these are kind of bent and they're supposed to be. He thought mine were bent, but they're not. They're all the same, so of course they're supposed to be like that. Um, he suggested that I replace those bolts and they've got a, um, if I went up and showed you, you can sort of see on the inside, let's go forward, uh, that it's flush so you don't have any proud part of the bolt coming through. So um, what he suggested is that I um, replace those um, and do that now because once I've got the, uh, the whole thing enameled, um, I'm going to put the skirt back on, the brand new vinyl skirt, of course. And once that goes on, you can't get to those bolts. So he said, really forward thinking, do them now. Replace them with something, you know, um, stainless steel so that it's in there. And so I've sent my engineer the question of that because I don't know if you undid that bolt like there. Seems like they're a huge pop rivet so that there's no bolt to undo you probably have to drill them out so when you drill them out do they suddenly spring apart um you know you have to be careful of any danger there so 
Just a thought, if you're thinking of priming, so four litres will do it, and I've asked, my daughter's just picking up one litre for me. Um, Bunnings sell them in 500 mil, uh, 0.25 of a mil, uh, one litre and four litre. We don't need four litre, but I'll probably do a little bit more of the chassis underneath. It had already been primed and enamelled under there, but I'll do some touch up and where Peter is um, doing the new draw bar. Um, I think the new draw bar will, is going to be black. So we're going really well. It's a, a great project. Um, it went on easy with the roller. Um, it hides a multitude of sins and the old van's actually starting to look quite good. So um, I'm going to have a bit of a rest because we're 38 degrees and it's a little warm. Um, so I'm going to have a rest for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, this took each coat five hours. So by hand and by roller. So make sure you estimate. Masking up yesterday took um, in the vicinity of three and a half hours masking up properly and that's just myself doing it. Um, and the whole rub back and sanding took two weeks every other day of a few hours. So work that one out. It's a longer process to prep it all but so worth it, bogging all the little holes, taking off the things that you don't want on there um, and really thinking about it. Um, kind of like my old retro light. I managed to get a bit of paint on it, but um, I checked it out, pulled it all apart and it's 240 and 12 volt. So because I'm going to be predominantly 12 volt, um, I reckon I can wire that up and it'll be just fine. So, um, all good. Now we let this hot, dry wind. It's like the Santa Ana wind at the moment. It's about a 16k wind and it's hot. It's a westerly and so this paint's going to be dry within probably the hour. Now what I've noticed before, I painted a couple of spots um, with the primer like that door and what I noticed is the primer will be a little bit like Sikaflex. It will um, be touch dry and get a skin but it's actually going to take quite a while it could still have wet patches if you were thicker areas it could still have wet patches after a couple of days so be wary that's why I was frugal I was not pooling the the paint anywhere I made sure I rolled it on hard with the roller. Um, the other thing I didn't tell you, I used a pole roller for the top and then to remove the pole and kept using the same roller, I used, there's a bit of it there. And here's our primer, the rust guard. And I used a um, disposable tray. It's just easier. They're like $3 or something or probably not even that. Always have the old coffee jar with terps on on the, um, the fly here ready because this is my favorite cutting brush and um, it's a really good one. Um, I also picked up a little nice one and a tiny one for inside the window frames. So we've got all little trays as well here and plenty of goods and pieces, but your roller, you want that kind of soft roller, I think, They've called it, what did they call it? Polyester roller with 10 mil nap. That is better for the enamel paints. You'll get a better finish. So you can see on here, it's not, um, you can't see the rolly marks really. Um, that one's probably a bit thin, but if we go to here, see it looks quite normal and certainly not the brush strokes. So. Do your homework and um, have fun with it. But yeah, it's going to take you four, five litres of primer for a 14 foot van. And um, I've got uh, eight litres of the white because that's the predominant coat and four litres of the black to do two coats of each. And it should suffice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, any details that I give like costs and product are always in the details below. So feel free to look at the details. All right, check ya.
Hi, thanks for watching. This is Jen and Aussie Rig Renos. Um, we're just onto the latter stages of painting the beautiful old Millard van. I've been pretty busy and I wanted to uh, keep you informed with a video um, as well as the photos I've been taking on the way through. Sometimes being a one-man band is quite hard to do both so I've opted just to keep you informed and try and keep my videos a bit shorter for watchability and just keep to the very important things. I'm sure none of you want to see, you know, 15 minutes of me painting. Um, so you can see here I'm onto the black part which I've masked off. I've already done two coats of the white enamel. That's a vivid white. Um, now I'm cutting in because it's always better and you're going to keep a much better line when you've cut in with the brush and gone over these rougher areas. Now one of the things, the main things I wanted to talk to you about was we've managed to get a lovely finish on the paint and that's just rolling. When I first did it, I had picked up roller brushes on the stick and it said for all paint and I'd gone through very carefully on my the rollers and got advice but I grabbed um, some sort of uh, an, a larger nap roller and what happened when I started on the first uh, coat of the white two days ago I got lots of bubbles and it wasn't apparent at first but lots and lots of bubbles and you can see I've primed so this is the primer it went on with the same roller really really easily no bubbles all beautiful but as soon as I got to the white it started bubbling really badly so when I stood back and I'd already done a lot of the van and I went oh no We've got bubbles everywhere. And at first I thought maybe it was a bit of sand that it got into it because they were that, that tiny. Now, my tips are, of course I went back and I asked advice, um, managed to get the worst advice person in the paint department, not the regular really informed Bunning staff, but um, he just kept telling me to swap paints to a Taubman's. <laughs> And I kept saying I'm doing the outside of a caravan, but yeah, he was not listening. So I worked it out myself. Um, he advised me to go to a much smaller, like a foam roller, and said that that was more for gloss paints. So of course, the roller was like $7.50. Um, I also had some very little ones. I'd picked up a few. Uh, let me show you. So he advised me to buy this. Cupboards and doors, a monarch, seamless, um, says it's for all types, good for gloss and all of that. Terrible, worst bubbles, worst bubbles of all. I was so angry. So um, I also got uh, this monarch door trims, he said was better, but it's got a bit of a nap to it. So let's have a look at the roller I'm doing and um, you'll see I've swapped from the big tray to the smaller tray. This works out, you can still put it on a pole. It's much easier and you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, the nap is quite small on this. This is what I call the Goldilocks roller and this is what you want to find. Um, still recommended for gloss paints, but not too long a nap and certainly not foam. The other tip I've got for you is let's just um, do a little bit and I'll show you. Let's sit down here. You need to go slowly. Roll it over all of those little creases. What I find is this small roller really helps with these smaller our, our crevices or you know undulating turf and um, whatever you want to call it on the caravans with this up and down side effect now see if i go too fast see the bubbles so we want to slow it down and go slowly and they just seem to disappear so 
also in the sun um, it's quite good I found it really does help um, and it sort of those little bubbles burst very quickly and they're the way to go so let's go back um, see if you've go if you go too fast if you do this too fast look at the result bubbles everywhere okay so slow down load your roller load it right up and let's go back and go slowly and gently and make sure that we're getting it all covered now it takes a minute don't panic at first it takes a minute see that's settled a bit now so it will sort itself out in the wash that is the first coat so you're coming back to do a second coat over the top um, also even with the roller go over the sections that you've done with the first load of the roller right when you first loaded it you go on you do a bit of rolling well it seems to be a bit thick and that can create like a river run a big run not just little drips a big like a right the way across run up and down and you don't want that so slow down is my tip investigate your rollers find your goldilocks if you're doing like i am this is a dulux um black or a, a white knight they're almost the same so they're um uh, both metal enamel paints and they're rust preventative so um, you can see I'm just going quite slowly and making sure that all of it's covered in the first instance you don't want a half cover but that cutting in makes all the difference now let's have a look we've done that little section let's get you back up here I've done the top you can see it's still I've done that all by brush much easier than a roller and this morning I took off the tape around the sides see the benefit of making sure your tape is put on properly now that's yesterday's paint and it's still wet so it's still damp not wet on the side at all but well worth masking off your J rails see these are masked off here uh, the other thing is please use the proper tape I've got frog tape and then I got this yellow one um, when I'd run out I used 55 meters so and I still had to buy another roll when you stand back and look at your van let's go that angle it looks so much more professional to have your J rail staying as the silver or chrome um, aluminium it just looks better it's the way it came out of the factory my very first van I painted them over thinking I'd seal it they wouldn't leak and all of that um, not true it's still you still have your issues but if you ever have to deal with anything at least you can get the panels off if you paint it all in you can't get those panels off really easily now um, your strip that goes in here are available and mine was so damaged let's have a look look at it down here it really is disgusting so I'm buying all brand new and yeah it's a few meters but I've I found a place that supply it for five dollars seventeen a meter so that's not bad um, I'm still undecided whether I'm gonna go black or white I'm thinking white is going to be better all round it's just going to look a bit schmick and we still got to get um you can see i've um, primed the windows inside and out and i'm doing them with the silver enamel so probably not a gloss probably a matte just to throw the cat amongst the pigeons and keep it looking original so um oh, we haven't shown you the other side let's walk around we're slowly getting there i have bought the window so we're having a beautiful window going there but you can see this is our color scheme of what we'll be doing so 
this is what I've got done this morning and if it all dries well I'll be doing a second coat tomorrow I've chosen a window of three days to paint uh, where we've had heat wave and you can see that's just cloud it's going to burn off and go away um, but yeah you, you just don't want rain especially when you've got no skirt on your top um, I opted, it's sitting there brand new ready to go on, but I opted to wait till we finished all the painting so no paint can get onto that and it's just easier access. I also chose to paint my cross braces white and they've got to have a second coat, but the white enamel because they're on the outside of the skirt and that way they're not the old, you know, pitted aluminium. So I think it's going to look really good and um, Yesterday, I managed to pick up, ta-da, a sheet of Perspex. I got this for free off Marketplace, do you believe it? I don't know how much that would have cost, but it's the size of the single bed mattress. So that's to replace all the windows. And here we've got our window for the front, which will be going in next. So, um, yeah, look around. See, all of these windows, they're pretty shite condition. They put perspex in and they still cracked it. Um, so all the windows are coming out just by the little screws at the bottom and we're going to be replacing with perspex the whole way around. And that sheet should do it. So I'm going to get back on with painting and finishing this. But yeah, watch your rollers. Don't trust the first bit of advice that you get. Um, do an experiment. Um, you can choose a little patch. There's a little run that I was talking about. Don't go too fast or that's what happens. So I'll sand that back and paint it over. Um, so slow down, check your rollers, find your Goldilocks, do an experiment, wait a couple of hours, make sure it's gonna settle and it's not bubbling and then proceed because I tell you what, I spent I think nearly two weeks prepping, sanding, making sure the van was ready, then a whole day masking off, and then painted the first coat of white, and then had to spend the next morning sanding it all back. So learn from my mistakes and do it right the first time. Thanks for watching. We finished this side now um, it looks a lot better and I've gone around the other side and I have just uh, done all around the doorway so that takes a bit of time to dry so I figured while the Sun was on it this morning much better this was mostly brushwork and of course it's masked off so that um, it'll be a lot better uh, it should be able to paint up the top there after a cuppa and something to eat and um, then come back this afternoon late um, hopefully and be able to do the second coat on all of this um, it'll dry overnight we'll pull the pop top down but then tomorrow it will need to be tarped because uh, we've got three days of rain coming and it's just to keep it clean although it's now sort of more watertight we do have little gaps at the top of the windows there uh, where I've taken out the weather protector strip so rain would go in there so it's either return the old ones in there or tarp it and I think you know if I want to do a little bit more work on it anywhere it's better if the paint is fresh so um, much better idea to 
tarp it and keep it without any rain or dirt from the rain. Um, so yeah, coming along nicely.